Hi, I'm Will with Eden Brothers, and I'm going to teach you about planting and growing ranunculus bulbs in your own garden. Ranunculus flowers are absolute showstoppers in the perennial garden. Layered petals create rose-like bloom that come in a range of colors from soft pink to deep blackish red. Sometimes called Parisian buttercups, they make lovely cut flowers for any vase or bouquet, so photographers and florists love them as much as gardeners. The easiest way to create gorgeous bouquets is with custom mixes. Our color combinations have been designed to evoke a range of themes from romantic and passionate to sweet and nostalgic. As you get ready to plant ranunculus bulbs, or corms as they're also known, first, gather your supplies. You'll need a bag of ranunculus bulbs, a bowl filled with room temperature water, small shovel or flower bulb auger, gardening gloves, sharpie, plant labels, watering can or nearby hose. Before planting, You'll need to soak ranunculus bulbs for three to four hours to promote healthy growth and give your ranunculus a jump start. But remember, it's very important to not over soak them. That could cause them to rot. Most ranunculus bulbs are about the size of a cherry tomato with multiple tentacles pointing out. They're extremely easy to plant. When to plant ranunculus bulbs depends on where you live. Ranunculus flowers perform the best in regions with mild winters and long cool springs. Fall is the ideal planting time in such areas. Those with colder winters can plant in late winter or early spring once the threat of hard frost is over. Ranunculus corms are shipped in a dry, dormant state. If you are not ready to plant the dried corms, store them in a bag out of direct sunlight at room temperature for up to eight months. If you have lifted the corms from the ground, store them in dry moss such as peat in a mesh bag. Mesh onion bags are a great storing option for any bulb or tuber. If you don't know your planting zone, you'll see a place on our website to enter your zip code for the answer. Zones 8 to 10 should plant in autumn for blooms in late winter and early spring. Zones 2 to 7 should plant in late winter or early spring for blooms in late spring or early summer. Ranunculus can grow well in zones 3 to 10, but you must lift them in zones 3 to 7. Since planting ranunculus bulbs in the fall is only advisable for zones 8 to 10, they are one of the rare varieties that can be stored until spring. For container planting, select a container that's large enough to accommodate the full-grown plant. Ensure there are adequate drainage holes to prevent water locking. Choose a spot for your container that receives full sun for at least 6 hours a day. When the danger of hard frost has passed, place the container in full sun all day. Of course, you may always plant in prepared beds. Choose well-draining soil with full sun exposure. Dig holes that allow you to plant the ranunculus 1 to 2 inches deep and 6 to 9 inches apart. Make sure that the pointed tentacles are facing downward. After planting, gently soak the soil. Nutrient-rich soil and well-balanced fertilizer provides the best conditions for growing ranunculus. Just remember not to over-fertilize as this can stunt growth. You can expect ranunculus to bloom for up to 8 weeks. Pre-sprouting ranunculus will allow your corms to bloom a few weeks earlier than normal. Soak corms in room temperature water for 3 to 4 hours. Fill a flat bottom seed tray halfway with moist potting soil. Place corms in the tray and cover with more soil. Move the tray into an area that has consistent temperatures of 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit for two weeks. Check the corms every three to four days to ensure the soil is moist and remove any corms that show signs of rotting or molding. Once rootlets appear, it's time to plant. When you are ready to cut ranunculus flowers, you'll be impressed at their long vase life. If you harvest them just before they're fully open, they can last 10 to 12 days. Adding flower food to the water will ensure that the flowers keep their gorgeous color. Thanks so much for joining us in the garden today. We hope you've learned a little something about planting ranunculus and feel inspired to grow your own.